One quick thing before we start today's episode, on the toolbox is a new sticker that I made for you guys to order more flames please. It's modeled after Tome, pretty stoked on it. They're flat black, came out super rad. I got one on the toolbox, Trevor's got one on his hard drive, on his computer, you can put it on your laptop, wherever you want it. And there's the Karma Driving Club pre-order shirts on karmaspeed.com, so if you guys wanna get a sticker for five bucks or a t-shirt, pre-order it. I will ship out the stickers immediately. These shirts still won't ship out till the first week of April, so if you order both at the same time, I will ship the sticker first so it gets to you ASAP, and then I'll send you the shirts as soon as they're done. So karmaspeed.com, if you wanna support the channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. I'm so thankful for all you guys watching, and the channel's growing like crazy. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the 350 content as well, so hope you enjoy this episode. Thanks. What up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're getting started by working on my e-brake on the 350 for pre-drift Saturday night session. So I don't have really any e-brake right now, so let's try and figure it out. I think it's the rear parking brake pads along with the cable being loose too. So the whole thing is just sloppy. Trevor's going ham on his car. We almost have the motor completely out. Two 19 millimeter bolts to get the brake caliper off the rear. So I did this and I used the base of the hammer to kind of beat it loose because this is really tight on this car. The bottom one is a major pain. I had to put it down here and hit it with the hammer again. Top bolt is out. This will slide off. This rotor does not want to come off, so. Sprayed PB blaster around the rusted part. I'm gonna hit it with some more, because why not? Since the rotor won't come off, little trick here. You have a nut. couple washers. I have two big ones. I found these in my random toolbox. I'm going to slide this bolt through the back top mounting hole for the caliper, slide it through, and then put my two washers on. And then this nut right here, what's going to happen is you're going to hold the nut with a wrench and then ratchet the bolt and it's going to push forward this massive bolt and it's going to basically put pressure on the back side of this and then go and then push it off. Good, good sounds. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bingo. Oh wow. Got the new brakes. If you want to screenshot that part number, let's pull it out though. I hope you can see the difference in pad. That's a solid quarter inch. This is like almost toast. And then this could probably be tightened as well right here. If you see those spokes, we can tighten that and get it stiffer. So this e-brake should be working good. But I'm gonna take some photos of this whole setup of the springs on the top and bottom before I take it apart. Let's go ahead and start on the top with this spring. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's kind of loose now. Let's do the one on the left. It's only like a half turn. There we go. Okay. This guy out. Now let's get the spring on the bottom. One thing I just noticed is the mouth right here is bigger, one down here is smaller, you know the bigger one goes on top by it. But to get these pads to stay in place while you do the spring, you gotta take your little guy with the arrow looking thing, and then this slides through the little hole you'll see, and you push against the spring and then twist it halfway and it'll hold in there. It's similar to a plastic clip, but heavy duty. Okay, I got the top guy on. Now we just need to do the springs to start at the bottom. Okay, got it on, that was lucky. So let's throw the rotor on there as long as it slides over it's not too tight i made it i loosened this too much so i separated them so much that this moved out and this wouldn't even slide on so i've got this so it clears so it'll spin freely so i'm gonna get trevor and have him pull the e-brake and see if it's the perfect distance this adjustment is really only for when your pads go bad and your e-brake stops working. Make sure that this arrowhead looking guy goes in straight and completely sideways and held in place perfect. Since I didn't put it in there perfect, it just, I'm gonna have to redo all this. Let's put everything back together. Gonna go do the exact same thing on the other side, get the hands a little dirtier, and we'll test if it works. New pads are in, both top and bottom springs. Um, the tensioner is about three threads showing, so both are even, both are tight. The handbrake actually feels like just right there now, so that's exciting. Um, and then got the rotors on and the lug nuts, everything's tight, double checked. So now we're gonna test out the e-brake in the carport right here. Pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up even more with the cable. So bring this up like three clicks and then pull your little guy out of here. And then you'll see this rod right inside here. It's a 10 millimeter deep socket. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. So what just happened was Got the rear brake pads on for the e-brake. Came in here, came to tighten the cable. Well, the cable was already maxed out, so I kind of realized that when I first started torquing on it. And then I was like, okay, I wonder if it's got a little bit more. So I loosened the nut all the way on the cable and then tightened it all the way back up. And when I tightened it all the way back up at the bottom, it just snapped. So the cable is just hanging there. So you'll see this just does this now. We're supposed to go drifting on Saturday, so that's great. Um, so, oh, and the best part is the cables discontinued. They don't make that part anymore. It's called Nissan, called O'Reilly's, called Napa, called AutoZone. Everything's discontinued. Um, and the one that Best Break, I think is the brand name from O'Reilly's, sells that works, it claims it works for a 2005 on their website, is all the way in Texas and it won't be here until Saturday or Monday which we're going sat Saturday night, so that's kind of useless. So I'm thinking about just full sending and doing the hydro setup. So I'll keep you guys posted. No reason to mess with, mess with this, it's just a bummer. 
So I'm thinking, I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments. I've seen most people just kind of cut something out of right here and then mount a hydro. So I, all, I, all I need to my knowledge is the hydro brake itself, the handle, so I can choose who I want to order that from. The brake lines, a dual caliper setup, and then two more OEM brake calipers. And I'm pretty sure that's it, right? Um, let me know. I'm kind of new to all this, so... I would really appreciate it in the comments. But other than that, um, don't forget to check out karmaspeed.com if you want to support the channel. We got some shirts and stickers. The shirts are still pre-order, but the stickers are ready to ship right now if you want to order one, five bucks. Um, other than that, I really appreciate you guys watching the videos. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the 350 content, and um, see you guys in the next one. Later. Yeah.